Hello once again guys, I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So basically today I want to deal with power machines N5 and today I'm going to deal with the chapter 8 which is your boiler, your boiler efficient. So basically uh, remember when you're boiling something it can be run at a different a different condition. So these are the basically the formula that you must know whenever you're dealing with your with the boiler like this. So I summarize all the notes that you want on the board. So this formula that I'm going to help you with the calculation that you're going to do on this question. So the first formula that you must know is about uh, the efficiency, which is the boiler efficiency. It says the mass of a steam uh, of a bracket H2 minus H1. And you must know that talking about H2, it can be different type of what of end up. Remember, I've showed you on the previous video the end up of what of a wet, the end up of a super heat, and also the end up of what of a dry. And then your H1, you're going to be get, uh, to get it a given fake water temperature. So your H1, you get it as your HF on the steam table using the fake water the water temperature and say so divide by the mass of a fuel multiplied by the uh, the caloric the caloric value which will be also also given and since it is in the efficiency you have to multiply by what by 100 so this is how you get your uh, your boiler is. and then you also have the formula to calculate what we call the equivalent evaporation to what 800 degrees Celsius so you are going to use this formula which is the equivalent evaporation when it is at 100 degrees Celsius, that's when you use this formula. It says with the mass of what? Mass of a steam, open bracket, H2 minus, minus H1, uh, divided by mass of a fuel, multiplied by 2, 2, uh, 5, 8, which is just a constant, a constant value. And this SI unit is it's what? It's kg per steam, divided by kg per what? Per of a fuel. Okay, and then what you are dealing with what with the heat, guys. Remember when you are burning something, either this uh the gain of what <coughs> of heat or the loss of, of heat. For example, let's say you, you you take wood, you are burning your wood, and then you are boiling water. The wood is losing what is losing the heat, and then the water is gaining gaining the heat. So whenever basically you are dealing with what with the heat, just know there is something which is losing, and there is also something which is which is gaining. That's why they say Q loss is close to Q gain. So <coughs> the heat loss is close to what. To uh to heat cake and then you also have different type of a heat. You have the heat of a fuel, uh which is Q fuel as close to the mass of a fuel multiplied by C V multiplied by the efficiency. And how do you get your efficiency? You use the, the first formula and then if they want the heat of what of a steam, it's just gonna be the mass of what mass of a steam. Uh, open bracket H2 by saying you get it here HF at a given at a given temperature minus H1, which is either uh, any type of what. Of enthalpy, and then you also have what the, <coughs> the heat of a water, which is the mass of a water multiplied by the uh, by Cp, and then uh, by sorry by Cp, and then you know the Cp of a water if it is not given is what four comma one eight seven multiplied by what <coughs> the change in what the change in temperature which is T two minus minus T one, and then you also have the formula. Let's say you are not given the mass of a water of a steam, you can calculate the mass of a steam. Using which formula? Using this formula that I wrote on the board. It says uh, <coughs> mass of steam is equal to V2, which is the total volume, divided by the specific volume. So your formula says the total volume divided by the specific volume. What is the specific volume? The specific volume it uh, it is the volume of what it can either what uh, the volume of what of an entire which is which is given. Let's say let's say the volume of what of a weight or the volume of what of a superheated or the volume of what. Of a dry, so this one it is a specific volume of either of a wet, of a super and also of a dry. Away by your your VT is just the total uh, total volume in general, yeah? and then you also have to know what we call this one called the steam, the steam generator. Away by steam is being is being generated. So on a steam generator, it consists of what of three things that you must know. A steam generator it consists of these three, which is the economizer, the evaporator, and also the the super heater. All right, okay. So the steam it passes through the economizer, and then it also passes through the evaporator or the boiler which is being boiled, and then it changes to steam whereby it goes to what we call the super, the super heater. That's why I write we have H1. When it comes to here, it's H2. When it comes here, it's H3. And then when it comes to the last part, it's H. It's H4. All right, okay. <clears throat> and then let us see. Uh, they say the heat absorbed in an economizer. Uh, kg per fuel burn. If they want you to calculate the heat, uh, heat absorbed in an economizer, uh, kg per fuel burn is going to be equal to the mass of what? The mass of the steam divided by the mass of the fuel open bracket H2 minus minus H1, which is from here, minus H1. And then you also have the formula to calculate heat 
absorbed in and evaporator kg fuel brain which is the mass of steam divided by the mass of what of the fuel h3 minus so now it's h3 minus h2 and then the heat absorbed in a super heater now we're gonna be the mass of a fuel the mass of steam sorry divided by the mass of fuel h4 minus minus h3 and then remember we also have the formula to calculate what we call the total the total volume in general which is just the area multiplied by the by the velocity and if you are not given the area that's why you use pi d squared divided by 4 when you don't have the one when you don't have the area so basically these are the all the uh, the notes that you must uh the formulas that you must know whenever you're dealing with it the calculation of what of boiler efficiency so let us choose we can just do an, an example we can do an example let's do example 8.8.3 okay let us see if you can see this okay so it says 8.3 steam of 0 0.95 dry of a pressure at a pressure of 0 0.7 million sorry uh mega newton meter squared in a super uh in a supplied to a heater through a pipe of what of 25 milli millimeters into a diameter the velocity of the pipe uh being 12 millisecond uh, water enters the heat at 20 uh, degrees celsius the steam is blown into the mixture of the water contains the leaves that what at a heated what at 90 degrees celsius and then they're saying calculate the mass of the steam entering the heater per hour and then they also want the mass of the water entering the heater per what per hour okay so i always advise my students to write the given information first Let's write the given information. So it's example 8.3. Okay, so I'm given the same the mass, uh, sorry, the steam of 0 0.95 dry. So they give me the dryness fraction. Okay, given. I'm given the dryness fraction of 0 0.95. Alright, okay, and I'm also given a pressure which is 0 0.7 mega newton meter squared of a super heater and they're saying also to uh, to supply through a pipe of what i'm also given the diameter which is d of 25 millimeter until they're saying the velocity of the diagram also given the velocity okay which is 12 meters per second they are saying the water enters the heater, so I'm given T1, was it entering, which is your T1 of 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, the steam is blowing to the mixture and the water uh, and the water and the condensed leaves it, uh, leave the heat at what, in 90, so now I'm given T2, which is 90. So it enters at what, at 20 and then it leaves at what, at 90. Okay, so the same calculate A, they want me to call the mass of what? The mass of the steam are uh, entering the heater per, per hour. So let us see. The mass of the steam. I said the formula to calculate the mass of the steam is going to be Vt divided by V specific. Okay. So this is the formula that you must use. This is the formula that you must use. All right. Okay. So let us see. Let us see. So for me to get my VT, do I have my VT? No, I'm not given VT. I said the VT, we can calculate VT is equals to, <coughs> all right, okay. We said we are not given the area, so it's gonna be pi D squared divided by four, multiplied by the, by the velocity. All right, okay. So this is pi, and then my D is 25 times 10 to four negative three, because it's milli squared divided by four. Multiply by 12, which is my, my velocity. Let's find and see what we get here. I have pi, then 25, and 10 to the power negative 3, plus bracket squared, divided by 4. Okay, multiply by, by 12. Okay. And this is my velocity, which is 5,890 
Eta cube, what is the bottom? Alright, okay, and then let us see my V specific. And I say on a specific volume, this one it can either be what of a wet, of a dry, or of a superheated. Since I've given the dryness fraction, I know my V specific is gonna be what? It's gonna be a wet. And then what is the formula to calculate my V wet? This is chapter. This is your chapter your chapter four. So if it's chapter five, the volume, chapter five, and then to calculate your V weight, it says it goes to X multiplied by VG. And remember, I said your VG, you're going to get at the given, at the given pressure. And this is the maker, the same as what? It's 7,000 kilo pascals, and then I can get my VG. Let me check on this. So here to get your VG, you have to use what we call the steam table. Remember, I said you must use this. Oh, let us see. Oh, zero comma seven over the thousand. Oh, yeah, man, it's supposed to be seven hundred. Was it zero comma something? Let us see. It's supposed to be seven hundred because if you condense it. 0, 0,7 if you multiply by 1000 it will be 700, not 7000. Okay, let me use my steam table to get my value. To get my value, my VG. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's 0, 0,27. 27. Okay. Okay, so I get my, 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 my video on my steam table, which is fine. And then let's see, I can get my V weight now. What is my X? 0 0.95 multiplied by my V, which is 0 0.2727. And then I get my, my V weight. I get my V weight from that. 0 0.95 multiplied by 0 0.2727. Okay, uh, I get zero comma two five two five nine. All right, okay, and then where am I now? Where am I? So now I can calculate my my mass force. I have everything now. I have my I have my VT, and then I also have my V specific. All right, okay. So is equals to what is my V? T five comma eight nine zero times ten to the power negative three divided by zero comma two five nine. Okay. Five comma eight nine zero. Okay. So it's um five comma eight nine zero times ten to the power negative three. me 0 comma 0 2 2 7 kgs and remember they wanted it per hour so I have to multiply by 3600 multiply by 3600 and then it should give me 81 comma 87 kgs per, per hour so basically that's how you get your answer which is your mass of a wet of a steam. So we can now go to B. Let us check the question on B. On B, on B, on B. Okay. So on B, they want the mass of what? The mass of a water entering the heat uh, per hour. Now they want the mass of a steam. So if the mass of a water entering the heat per hour, the mass of what? The mass of a water. So basically for me to get uh, the mass of a water, I'm going to use my uh, my heat formula as well, but I know Q goes, this goes to Q, Q gain, yeah? All right, okay, and then I know <coughs> here, I have the part of what I have the heat of what, I have the heat of a steam and I also have the heat of what, of a water. And just know the water is always gaining, so my heat of a steam, it's 
Mass of the steam H2 minus H1 is equal to the uh, heat of a water, which is mass of a water multiplied by Cp multiplied by which is T2 minus T1, and then I just have to make my mass of the water the same with the formula. And remember, I say your H2 is going to be determined if it is the end type of, of, of your weight of a dry or of a super heat. But since I have what we call the dryness fraction, I have the dryness fraction on this. So this is the what uh, the end up of what of your weight. And I said which formula to use to calculate the end up of the weight is HF plus X HFG. Okay, which means I can get my H2 as this. And then I say your H1, you're going to get it at the given fab water temperature. So let us see if we're given the fab water temperature here. Okay, I'm given the temperatures, which is the initial and the final one. And then on this one, for me to get my HF, I said your H1 is same as HF. You will get it at the given temperature. So since you have two of them, use the final one, which is 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let me check on my steam table. Let me check on my steam table. What do I get here? Mm, 90, 90 degrees Celsius. HF is 233 37 7 kilojoules kilojoules per kg and remember to get my HF I also need to get my H2 I need HF I also need HFG so I'm going to get my HF at the given pressure <coughs> which is 700 same thing that I was doing on the previous video name also HFG you get it 700 kilopascals. Let us see my HF and HFG. My HF is 697 kilojoules per kg, and then my HFG. Is two o six five kilo just per kg. All right, okay. So I think the best way is to just make the uh, start with the formula and then I just punch it because I don't have space on my board. So let me see. It's going to be the mass of what of the water is equals to mass of the steam H two minus H one divided by C P uh, multiplied by T2 minus T1. Okay, let me just calculate it here. And then, and then remember they want it per hour. They push it, they want it per hour, so I can use my mass of the steam per hour. But if they want it, <coughs> I, let's say per second, so I have to change my mass of the steam to be per second. So basically, on this one, they want my mass of what of your water per hour, so I can also use my mass of the steam per, uh, per hour. So which is 81,87 open bracket and then I have to get my H2 okay uh, let me try to make it fit 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 and then my HF is plus S which is 0 0.95 okay multiplied by 2065 okay uh, minus my H1, which is 377. Okay. Then divide by my C2 is 8. Okay, let us see something. 4,187 multiplied by, which is 90 minus 20. Then you get your mass of the water. Let us see, I can punch everything there. So it's eighty one comma eight seven. Then it's six nine seven. Then it's zero comma nine five.
key so I can just punch everything. So I can get my answer which is 637,370. Uh, I kid you spare the hour. So basically, this is my answer. So basically, that's it about what about boiler efficient. So this is the first example that I was doing, and then I'm going to also do uh, different examples. So basically, what you must know, you must know the formula that I was using this, and you must also know about the heat and also about the steam, about the steam generator. So I'm going to do more examples on boiler efficient. So make sure you watch my videos. Make sure you also subscribe. Uh, subscribe. So whenever I post a new video, you you get a notification. Thank you for your time.